back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, my name is Danielle. Um, sorry guys, I'm in a rush. I am just leaving my house and I'm on my way to the nail salon to get my nails and my toes done. But um, I'm gonna talk to you guys while I'm driving there. Um, it's five, I'm running a little late, it's five minutes away. Um, but it's five minutes until my appointment, so. But, and don't mind the mess back there. I'm using my son's Jeep um, because the car um, has to be serviced today, so. But anyways, if you're new here, my name is Danielle. I'm all about positivity. I like giving encouraging words. Um, I also do a lot of different content on my channel. I do unboxing of my favorite things. I do a lot of try on hauls. Um, I share life with you guys. I just started vlogging, so I'm glad you guys are taking this journey with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching and taking the time out of your day to be with me today and watch. So. Um, why don't you go ahead and give me a like if that sounds good to you the stuff I do on my channel and if you like this video so far and hopefully you watch till the end but why don't you go ahead and give a like why don't you go ahead and subscribe especially if you've been watching this far and enjoying my content but you haven't subscribed yet why don't you go ahead and subscribe um, yeah so today um, it's gonna be a me day um, I have a lot of things coming up this week, so I have to get stuff done today. Get my toes and my nails done, like I said, um, because my sister's bridal shower is Saturday, two days away. We have all, you know, she has the girls coming from out of town. We're going to have a good time. I'm going to vlog some of that for you guys. And my mother's birthday is actually tomorrow. So I'm gonna go shopping. I'm gonna go try to find something for her for her birthday. I know one thing um, she wants me to get her something to wear for the uh, bridal shower. And of course I'm gonna get her something else to go with that. But So I'm gonna do that after I get my toes and nails done. I'm gonna go find her something. Um, I need to get my donkeys. I don't have time to get my donkeys right now because I'll be late so I'll get that after. Um, I leave the nail shop and I'll show you, um, I'll try to vlog some, if not, I'll show you what I got done um, after we leave there. Just a few things, a little bit of running around. So I'm gonna take you guys with me today. So I hope I'm able to vlog a lot of stuff, a lot of um, content for you guys today since I'm already in a rush. <clears throat> it's not good to start out your day like that. I don't like to do it, but sometimes it happens, you know. Excuse my voice, I'm still tired. Like I said, rush and rush, rush, rush. Not a good thing. But um, I try to show you guys my outfit that I just threw on today. Um, try to insert it into this video as well. Um, just a little roster shirt I got from Hot Topic and um, some black capris. Calvin Klein capris and some Steve Madden slides. So, I am almost to the nail salon and like I said guys don't mind this mess of this Jeep this is my son's car I gave it to him I'm gonna be getting a new car hopefully soon but until then well he's a sweetheart anyway he says I can use it you know even though I gave it to him whenever I want to whatever yeah mom go ahead do what you got to do so Alright, I have made it here and I will catch up with you guys in just a little bit.
Hey guys, I'm back. I just got my toes and my nails done. And I showed you guys my toes. Or when I get out, I'll show you guys my toes again. But I'm trying to back up and get out of here now. Um, so now I am on my way to Duncan to get my iced coffee. And then to the store. Um, I might stop as well and get a car wash for my son because there is like pollen, so much pollen all over this car. You wouldn't believe how much pollen there is on this car, but it's ridiculous. So I'm on my way to go and do that. I'll catch up with you guys um, in a few minutes. Okay, guys, so I just got done rinsing off my son's car. Got water all over me. Just trying to clean my glasses off. I don't have no tissue in here. I gotta wipe them on my shirt. But I'm just trying to get some of that um pollen off of there because that was bad. It was like, oh I should have showed you guys, but it was like a film of pollen on there. So now I feel better. Did that for him. I know I can drive around not looking crazy with the coda big thick coat of pollen on the car so now I'm headed to Dunkin Donuts go get my coffee I got my Dunkin I think I told you guys this before but I don't know I can't remember but I always get um I usually get um an iced caramel swirl uh latte with almond milk good this time sometimes I gotta get an extra pump but the one I went to um they usually make it right so and then I got a croissant stuffer um what is it? the chicken and bacon croissant stuffer because I haven't eaten yet so these are pretty good too if you haven't tried them yet go ahead and go out and try them um for now I'm gonna eat this, drink the coffee um, while I'm on my way to the store. I'm gonna go check out, um, I'm sorry for talking while, well, you know, chewing and with my mouth full. Um, I know that annoys uh, some people, but I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx um, and I'm gonna go to JCPenney and see if I can find something there. Then I'll see what I'm gonna do from there. I think I have to go and pick up a couple prescriptions um, from CVS. So yeah, that's what I'm doing, guys. Taking time out away from the hubby. We're usually, me and hubby are usually always together. Um, but he's relaxing today. Uh, he didn't feel too good uh, yesterday, so. He's relaxing. I'm out I'm driving around in my son's car trying to do stuff. Like I said, my sister's baby shower is baby shower. Oh my goodness. I'm speaking things into existence. You don't like that one. Baby shower. Bridal shower is Saturday. And um, the girls, my stepsister, um, a couple of her longtime friends and stuff are coming up. Um, 
some from uh, North Carolina, some from uh, Buffalo, and they're coming up to spend the weekend, so we're going to have a good time. I'm going to vlog that, and then, um, like I said, my mother's birthday is tomorrow. I don't know what we're going to do yet, and my birthday is the 17th on Thursday, and I don't know about that either, but I got doctor's appointments and things in between times, so I just wanted to take today while I had a, a day to um, get things done. But, oh, oh, I'll catch up with the guys in a few minutes. All right, guys, so I made it to JCPenney. I'm going to go look and see if I can find my mother's shirt in here. Well, no luck at JC Penny, so I'm gonna go try TJ Maxx. All right, guys, I'm going to TJ Maxx. Wish me luck. Now I gotta stop and look at the bags when I'm going to a store. I'm looking for a clear bag to go with my outfit for Saturday and my clear shoes. If I wind up getting one, I'll let you guys know. Look at that. Nice. This cute little clearance section they got. Makeup. Shoes. Clear Like a little tiny bag. I love the gold chain though, and it's clear. So it'll go perfect with the shoes I'm going on Saturday. I think I might get it. Hi guys, I'm back. So I found the blouse for my mom finally. Um, I got it from Old Navy. It was really cute and embroidered. Um, I'll show you guys later or on Saturday when I'm filming she'll have it on um, but don't mind the sweaty redness of my face it's so hot out here today and I'm just coming back from North Carolina and I'm in Massachusetts now and it's now it's just so hot here and I'm running into you know this store that store trying to find the a nice little shirt for her and stuff so I'm on my way to CVS to pick up prescriptions and then I gotta stop at the grocery store and um, pick up some milk and a couple items to bring home. And then, yeah, and then that's it. Okay, guys, so, hey, I just left the, well, actually CVS. I didn't have to go to the grocery store. I just had to get milk, so I had some points. So I just got the milk with my coupon from CVS. And now I'm finally going to go home. And of course, it's never ending. 
I got stuff to do at home and cleaning and folding and all that stuff. So, but I'm glad you guys spent a few hours with me. Um, I just wanted to leave you guys with this. You know, I speak to myself as well as when I tell you guys this stuff. I'm also speaking to myself. Um, you know, not everybody has a nine to five job. People have all different things that they do. Um, people work from home. People do stuff on the computer. They sell stuff. Um, like I do, I make passive income on the computer. And then I, you know, I take care of my husband, um, we go back and forth to doctor's appointments and stuff like that, so I can't really have a regular nine to five job. Um, but, you know, I just wanted to, I think somebody needed to hear this. Um, and God put it upon my, my heart to just tell you, you know, it doesn't matter what people say or what you think people are thinking about you. Um, well, you know, I see this person because I think that myself sometimes too well they're always going to eat well they're always going shopping or they're doing this and doing that and um, I don't ever see them you know going to work or they're not doing this or they're not doing that how can they do this and that you know people have all different kind of ways um, people have all different kind of ways they make their income they sell stuff they have passive income they trade online and stuff like that and I'm just trying to tell you this and telling myself this don't worry about what people think you know life's too short you know me and my husband decided we're just gonna live our best life we're gonna live our life you know he almost you know um, passed away in like a year and a half almost two years ago he had a heart attack but you know God he survived God willing and we see with the pandemic and everything else that life is just too short you can't worry about what people are thinking about you um, what people are saying about you um, what people think and you know how can they do this do that how you know or you know how people love to gossip behind your back the negative people and the negativity that's why I just try to stay positive I try to give a, a positive word to my friends my family um, I try to bless them every time I can you know not just with monetary value things but with spending time um and that's the best thing you can do with family right now so spending time you know just doing running you know just doing anything for them and just spending time with them and just if you can bless them with something um blessing blessing them with something you know anything like that so i mean i'm just saying all this to say you know what? Live your life like I always say. Um, be you. However you want to do you. Be you. Whatever. Don't worry about what people are saying about you. Worry about the positive thing people are saying about you. You know? Oh, I'm, look, she's spending time with her husband. That's what I'm going to think, you know, next time I worry or think about something like that. Oh, they're spending time together. Look at her with her sister. Oh, they're, they're going out to, you know, eat. She's getting this for her mom or, you know, just the positive things. Not like, oh, well, how can she go out and going out to eat all the time? And they're going on vacation. And they're uh, buying this and buying that. And, you know, what does she do? What do they do for work or, or what are they doing? Don't worry about that stuff. That's all I'm saying. Worry about you. Worry about what positive, encouraging word you can give to somebody. You know, don't worry about the naysayers, the, the gossipers. Um, they live in a miserable place. They want you to be there with them. I'm deciding and I've decided to just look ahead in life, live my best life, enjoy life, spend time with my family, spend time with my husband, pamper myself, get things for others, be a blessing. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm not going to worry about what anybody else thinks. I'm not going to worry about what anybody else says. Because they don't know what happens behind closed doors. They don't know how you make your income. They don't know any of that stuff. So, um, I'm in my yard. Uh, don't let nobody else count your time or say how you're spending your time or what you should be doing, spending your time working or whatever. Or tell you what you should be doing. If time is something you can't get back. 
You spend your time how you want to spend your time. Make your money how you want to make your money. And that's all I have to say about that. I'm just letting you guys know. You spend your time how you want it. You make your money how you want it. Don't let nobody else tell you how to do it. So, that's what I had to say to add on to that, guys. Don't let nobody count your time. Don't let nobody count your pocket. So, on that note, guys, like I said before, you can only be you and do you and take care of you and your family. You can't let nobody else tell you how to live your life. Sorry about the noise in the background. That's the highway behind me. But anyways, stay positive, be encouraged, and what? Be you, that's right, because that's all you can do, because you're awesome.